Yo, 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 yo. Got some steezies. Some steezies. Smoke this on. <clears throat> I don't know what. Let me step over here and take a puff. Hold on. I don't want to be smoking on IG because, um, you know, I mean, they get upset. They get cut niggas stuff off. Yo, man, what's up? <coughs> what's up, man? Everybody come on in the room. Come on in the room. Come on in. Come on in. Come on in. Come on in. <coughs> yeah, um... My jazz album is out right now. Raven Night Social Club. Mm-hmm. It's out right now, bro. Go get that junk. <clears throat> I did a lot on that, man. I did a lot. Um, I really put my, uh, my all into this project. Um, it's a mixture of hip-hop and jazz. Um, I want y'all to go check it out, man. You know, yeah, I'm interested in a flute player. Somebody just said, Do I need a flute player? Yeah, I, anybody that can play instruments, just DM me because I may do another album. I'm thinking about doing an um, a RB album as well. My own RB, I am actually, actually may sing on the RB album, I may do some singing on there. I always, I always want to do stuff like that, so I got some ideas, yeah. Thank you, man. Oh yeah, video's out too, man. The video is out. I got a, I got a contrib, a, a, tri a, contr a tribute song to Lord Infamous Gangsta Boo and Coops the Nicka, and it's out right now. It's on YouTube. Yeah, man. I appreciate everybody that's in this room, man. Every, every. Th how many we got? Three hundred and five. I fuck with all you. Three hundred and five, man. Thank you. Appreciate the love, man. Um, I'm gonna always do music. I'm gonna always do <clears throat> different things. That I'm just, I'm just having fun right now. I'm just really trying to um, just everything that I get on my bucket list, like things I want to do in my life. Like I used to want to be an R&B singer. I wanted to do an R&B album, and so you know I'll probably do it one day. You know, rest in peace, Big King, man. Man, B King actually had an album we was gonna drop. You know, I got the whole album. It's actually done. It was called um, it's called Ratchet P. Ratchet P. Me and B King, rest in peace. Um, I want to send a um, prayers up to his family, Club God Parenting, his daughter. So you know, I'm not gonna release that album. Not right. Not right now. No time soon. Maybe we'll drop it next year or something. You know, I don't know. We'll figure it out. It was a good album, man. Rest in peace, B-King. That was my dog, man. I used to talk to B-King almost every other day. It's my nigga. I miss that nigga, man. He was so funny. He would always have me laughing, bro. Like real shit. But um, the Raven Night Social Club album is out right now. You can um, go stream it. Um, I got a lot of great album, um, a lot of great records on that on this album. Uh, it's one of my favorite albums I ever put out. It's being real, it's one of my favorites, favorite solo projects. I, Cause I just did so much stuff out the box. I was like, yo, excuse me, I got these, I got these 
different type sounding beats, different type got instruments. It's ninety nine percent live instruments. Ninety nine percent live instruments. Yep. Yeah, I'm just lounging right now, man. I'm over. I'm out here in Vegas. Just lounging, bro. But um. Like, um, shout out to um, everybody that worked on the album. Shout out to JR, that's my dog. Um, Crazy Mike, Emmy, Mackenzie, Stanley, Robert Glasper. Um, yeah, man, Terrio. Shout out to everybody, man, that contributed to some on this album, man. You know, the horn players, the strings, everything is just, it's just, it's beautiful, man. You know what I'm saying? Beautiful. So I made a song on it. It's called "It's Called To You." I got a video. The video is out right now. It's on YouTube. It's a very, very touchy video. Um, I'm gonna I'm post some stuff in a minute. I just want to come on live and just you know talk to y'all, answer some questions, man. I just want to answer some questions. That's another thing I don't even do. I don't. I come on live. I just talk my ass off. I never really answer any questions. I'm gonna answer a few questions. Still Coinbase? Yes, I'm still Coinbase. Yep. <clears throat> Can you tell me where I can, where I can see you some beats? I got some dope stuff. Um, oh, bro, it's, I gotta, I gotta get a new email. You can try to DM me, bro. How old is Juicy J? How old do I look? How old do I look? Hmm. How old does Juicy J look? Three Six Mafia saved the music. Yeah, I agree. Will I go on tour with Xavier Wolf? I would love to go on tour with Xavier Wolf. Um, we just gotta find some time to, to put some stuff together. We, we got me and Wolf are gonna shoot some more um, videos. Are you playing any music with Wiz? Yes, I got some more music with Wiz. I did. Uh, um, I produced three songs on this new album. I produced three records. They hard as fuck. Uh, you still got your SP two hundred? Yep, I still got my SP two hundred. So everybody trying to find you trying to figure thirty six? Yep, Juicy J is thirty six years old, man. Hey man, I don't age, man. Black don't crack. Have you read my book? Thank you. Any more questions? I'm gonna answer some questions today. I'm gonna, just, I'm gonna sit back today. Today I just said I was just gonna. Um, Sit back and just answer a few questions. Go in here and just you know. Today I'm I'm, be, I'm I'm actually gonna take it easy. You know, usually when I bring out a project, I just kind of I be like just moving around, doing this, doing that. And I'm gonna do. I'm still gonna do some content, of course, but I'm gonna take it real easy. I just want to take it easy these next couple of days. Um, I've been I was in Milwaukee for like five days, bro, with my family and shit, and it was a great time and a great time. I just want to take it easy, bro. I just want to really take it easy. Um, I'm still, you know, grieving over B King passing, man. Terrible. I'm still hurt by that. I just feel different. Like I've been ever since he passed away. I'm not gonna lie. I've been feeling different. I've been, I've been actually. I know I always, I always say retiring, but I'm not gonna retire. But I just felt like, I don't know, man. Like you know, it just. This thing called life, we gotta we gotta try to un, you know understand it better, and we can't take it for granted. You know what I'm saying? That's kind of what I'm on right now. I just don't want to take anything for granted. I want to make sure I spend much as time as I can with all my family members. You know what I'm saying? Why they're here on this earth? And um, I miss Three Six Mafia. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. And then hopefully, you know, me and Paul will probably get together and, and do something, man. You know what I'm saying? I still got love. For Paul and Crunchy Black, shout out to them, man. Like a lot, a lot has kind of been touching me. Like seriously, when when B King passed away, when he passed away, it just like I don't know, you know what I mean? It just it hit me. It hit me uh, just out of nowhere. Like it hit me like really, really, really hard. And um, man, you know, I just kind of like on a different path right now I'm more on like um, I want to help people I want to pray with people 
I just want to I want to be a better person You know what I mean Anything that I just did wrong Or went the wrong direction I really want to be a better person You know what I'm saying I just want to make myself better What about I can do to make myself better And it's not, it's not even about music It could just be about calling somebody And just ask them how you doing I mean how you doing How was your day You know I just want to be a better communicator Because I don't feel like I'm a good communicator You know what I'm saying Like I'm a I'm a loner type of person So you know, a lot of times I might just, it's like, I might call some homies and I'm, they might not hear, hear from me from a, for a long time because I just be in my own world. Not, no disrespect for, to anybody, but sometimes I just be on my, in my own world. And somebody asks me, am I still off the Zans? You know, being real with you, man, sometimes I do take a, a half of a football sometimes because uh, I get some, you know, I get a little anxiety. I don't go crazy. I don't go crazy, but um, I get a little anxiety sometimes, and then uh, I take about a half half a football. It's that's that's not much, and I don't do it every day. It's like every now and then, you know what I'm saying? Um, what did it say? Uh, I'm DM you, Broski. Okay, yeah, DM me, man. I'm gonna try to check it, bro. If y'all wanna ask, if y'all wanna ask me some more questions, this is the best time to ask me some questions because I usually don't be on live as much. I'm just in, I'm just chilling in. I got my Supreme shirt on. I got my I got my uh, my Louis Vuitton flip flops. I'm just chilling, bro. I'm just at the just at, you know at the crib, just chilling, bro. Just I'm just kind of like on I'm just on easy time, you know. I'm on easy time right now, you know. That, that's the type of time I'm on. Re very easy, slow motion, very easy time, you know. You coming to the UK? I want to come to the UK. Um, a lot of times, bro, like the UK is different than the states. The states, you know, you get paid over there, but sometimes when you go to U UK, they try to not saying it's a bad thing, but they don't pay you the same. They they want to cut your pay in half, or they they don't want to pay the strength. Some of them do, but a lot of them don't. When you go on tour over there, they try to package this deal together, and I just feel like, you know, if I had to be away from my family for a certain amount of like a month or something like that overseas, like, man, I would probably lose my mind. So I would have to get paid for that. You know what I mean? Or, you know, bring my family with me. But I mean, like a lot of times, man, touring is great. And I love it. I'm always tour. But like a lot of times, man, I ain't gonna lie. Like I'm to the point in my life. I'm kind of like I don't want to tour long tours. I'll do like some small shit, like two weeks. I don't want to do like a whole month because I got, you know, I got my kids. You know, I got to make sure they in school, they got to spend time with me. That's another thing. We got to connect with our children. When you have kids, you got to connect with them. You can't just be like gone for like three, four weeks. You know, they'll forget who you are. And then your kids need you. You know what I'm saying? They they like, they're a part of you. So when they see you, you know what I'm saying? Being around the house, being around them, taking them you know, to school and talking to you and just, you know, interacting with your children. It makes them uh, a, a better, you know, a better person because you don't want nobody else trying to tell your kid what to do, and because they'll gravitate to sort to somebody else. So the kids always look up to you as that's that's the first person they see. So they're gonna start. You gotta be you gotta be in their presence. That's all I'm saying. You can't just yeah. Let me see more questions. What what's the type of day you gotta have to be in a? Because what's what's the type of day you gotta have to be? A consistent artist What type of day? Well, to answer your question If this is the right way to answer that Do you like birds? I love birds, by the way Somebody said, do you like I watch birds all the time, bro I watch birds all the time I be on YouTube just watching birds I don't know, I just got a You know, I'm kind of like Just crazy about birds I just like to I'm tell you, What really not, not. I'm going to go back to the other question But look, what really What really excites me about like birds Birds are like, you know, they, they have a family, they have kids, they go back and forth and they feed them. That shit is amazing to me. It just, you know, that's how humans are. That's how we are. So I, I look at that and be like, damn, man, there is a God, man. You know what I'm saying? Somebody had the program that, you know what I mean, to make that what it is. You know, how do birds know to go feed their family? How do they know to go come back to the nest and guard their nest? How do they know to build a nest? Like, how does a bird know how to build it? Like, who tells a bird how to build a nest? Birds are just birds they they hatch out of eggs and they fly off or whatever but who says hey man you gotta build a nest like cause they mom and dad don't I don't know just weird um uh, somebody asked me damn I forgot the question somebody asked me about um damn let me look at it again 
Oh, how do I? What's my? What's my? What's well? I was about to say, what's my day to day? Um, being an artist, how I create music and stuff like that. My day to day couldn't consist of anything, bro. Like I work out every other day. Um, with my children, I be online. I be on the internet too. I be. I get a lot of inspiration from stuff from the internet because I'm a lot of times I'm not really in the outside world. I'm just kids, 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 family, family, family. And I might get a chance to jet off, you know, jump outside every now and then, you know what I'm saying? But I'm mostly inside than outside. And if I get a chance to go outside, I'll be at the studio. So I'm not really outside. But um, as far as my creativity, my creativity comes from um, the how I'm feeling. Um, oh. Excuse me? Yeah, you're right over there, right over Yeah, yeah. My creativity comes on how I'm feeling, and especially when I, um, when I, when I was working on this project, it was like a lot of things going on in my life, so everything you hear on here is pretty much 98% of my life. Like, whatever you hear on here, it sounds to me some crazy shit and be like, what's this? What's this? You might try to figure out what I'm talking about or who I'm talking about. And it's not like in a bad way. It's just my life, you know? It's my life. So that's what I'm doing. They say, you still connect? You still connected with Reggie? I don't know who Reggie is. Who's Reggie? Come to Europe, bro. I will come. I will come to Europe. I do want to come to Europe. In Mexico, too. One of those nights is one of your best songs. Love that one. I love that one too. Any plans for a Canada tour in the future? Hopefully, man. What's my favorite movie? Um, American Werewolf in London. It's my favorite movie. Yep. Yeah. When did Nigga Creep from Prof Prophet Posse died? Nigga Creep died. I can't remember the exact date. It's been so long ago, bro. He um, rest in peace. Clint Brady, as my cousin, nigga creep, he um, he had a devastating lifestyle. His lifestyle was a little bit more different. He used to run the streets a lot, but he wasn't a bad person. He was a good person. He just did some 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 things that you know we all do when we get young. We, when you're a young nigga, we all do dumb things. We still do dumb things when we get older. We always do some stupid shit. You know what I'm saying? You know. But uh, yeah. Somebody said, would you like to collab with Suicide Boys? Hey, man, I love Suicide Boys, man. Suicide Boys is dope, man. I got some songs with Suicide Boys. Yeah, man. What do you think of Saudi Arabia? I've never been to Saudi Arabia. I don't want to go. You know what I'm saying? Saudi Arabia seemed like a dope-ass um, country. Um... How would you determine who you work with on a musical level? Um, I'm a I'm a picky person, but I, I like underground artists. Like I like um, I like Caribou. Caribou is dope to me. I, her flow, her style. I like her. I like uh, Caribou. I actually got a song with me, Caribou, and uh, Project Pat. I'm gonna put it on. My part put the song on me and Project Pat album, but that shit's hard. I'm gonna hit up Larry June, man. Larry June, dope, man. What's the name of the new album? It's called The Raven Night Social Club. Okay, I'm gonna let y'all get. I'm gonna let y'all listen to it. I, I'm gonna get back on live. I tell you what, go listen to some of the album. I know you can't be really listen to the whole album, but listen maybe like the first three, four songs or whatever you can listen to. And I'm gonna get back on live, and then we can talk about it. Let's talk about. What songs are, you know, do you you fuck with? What songs you don't fuck with? <clears throat> Excuse me. Yeah, man. So I'm gonna see you guys in a minute. I got some videos and stuff I need to drop. Let's go. I love y'all, man. I'm gonna tell you that every time I talk to y'all, even though I don't know you mother jumpers on here, I'm gonna tell you, bro, I'm gonna say, man, I love you, man. You know what I'm saying? I love each and every one of y'all because we gotta start telling each other we love each other, man. Cause we don't. Like I said, bro, you never know, man. So let's just embrace the love and tell motherfuckers we love each other. And um, you make.
Look, we love Memphis Sound. Thank you, man. Come by your dispenser. You uh, you got a dispenser? All right, where at? It's in Vegas. I need the weed, bruh. I posted did a show in Cancun. I don't know what happened with that. I mean, I know that's not... That's in Mexico, but that's not Mexico, Mexico. Like, that's not what are happening yet, but yeah. To you is a very different vibe, bro. Hey man, I love Money Bag Yo music, man. He hard. And I love all Memphis rappers, man. You know what I'm saying? Anything that come from Memphis, I'm I'm all always support that shit. Off the rip. Gotta support the hometown, bro. What's it like being rich? A lot of problems. A lot of motherfucking problems, my nigga. What advice can you give a 20-year-old? What advice would you give a 20-year-old self? My, well, hold up. What, what, what advice would you give a 20-year-old self? Advice for my 20-year-old self? I would say nothing, man, because I feel like I pretty much... I mean, I could just... I could have slowed down on a lot of, like, you know, sleeping with this chick and sleeping with that chick, but overall, man, nothing. I'm going to tell my 20 year old self nothing. I mean, I said, keep grinding. Hey, man, go check out the album. Raven Night Social Club. I'm going to get back on live. Let me know what you think about it. I'll be back in like 30.